Jacob Spellers with Vital Health here, and I wanted to do a cool little video on bipolar disorder. You know, I kind of see this term get thrown out, you know. You see your child uh, throw a hissy fit because you didn't give them some goldfish, and like, yeah, my child got, you know, they bipolar, you know, or, you know, you see, uh, your, you know, your son knock over a toy, hey, they're bipolar, you get an attitude, and, you know, I'm here to say that, you know, I don't think the DSM-5 qualifies, you know, throwing a little goldfish or any a little fit is bipolar disorder. Uh, you know, this is kind of one of the first times I made a video like this. Uh, you know, I am a person that sees a bunch of bipolar patients. Uh, you know, I work a lot of times in jails. Right here is my own treatment center that I own. Um, so I see like the consequences of bipolar, you know. And this is kind of one of the first times publicly I admitted that I have bipolar 2 disorder. Uh, so I get it. You know, I'm here with you. And if you're here at this video, you're probably trying to figure out like what the hell is wrong with me. Uh, so we're going to go over here in this video, like what is bipolar disorder? So we'll start with the first two types. I know there's more, so you know, social workers get a little crazy on this. I'll, I'll explain in different videos, uh, but we'll start with bipolar one disorder and two. I would say neither is better. You know, sometimes people say bipolar one is worse than two, but explain that to the person living to it. But before we jump into the nitty gritty, you know, I'll tell my story. Um, of living bipolar disorder. In some of the other videos, I describe kind of my history with drugs and being incarcerated uh, and how I got to like own this treatment center now and what I do. Um, but, you know, after I got off drugs and stuff, I would, I would see my primary care doctor and uh, I, I kept telling him like, I can't focus, I can't focus, but I don't want to get on meds. You know, and I was like 18 years old and uh, you know, all the way up to 27. So that's, you know, you know, smoke too much weed during math class. What's that? I don't know. You know, long time. But 27 years old, I finally talked to my PCP, and I was like, hey, I think I need to take my mental health serious. And uh, it, it, he said, uh, you know, why don't you go see a psychiatrist? And I was like, no, nah, I don't want to get them drugs. And he looked me in the eye. He said, Jake, maybe if you took mental health seriously, he would have never done drugs in the first place. And he just walked out the room. And I was like, ouch, that kind of hit me. So I booked a psychiatrist appointment. And normally it takes a long time to get in. They got me in in less than 30 days. You know, I see a really good psychiatrist and I'm a social worker and he's running through all the tests on me. And he didn't diagnose with, you know, I have a history of like PTSD and ADHD. Like I knew this stuff, you know, as a kid. And then, uh, he starts hitting around the bipolar stuff, you know, I start, and I could, uh, I could just, <laughs> I could just hear him, like I could, I could hear the screening, I could tell by his questions, and, you know, I'm, at that time I'm working in a hospital, ironically, with, you know, people coming off meds, and, uh, you know, I call my wife, and uh, I remember I called her, and I was like, yeah, can you believe this MF is uh, trying to say I have bipolar disorder, you know, and she like, pauses on the phone. And I was like, uh, oh, you believe this too? You believe this too? She's like, no, Jake, you know, and, and I hung up the phone, you know. And I called my mom. <laughs> and I feel like they're all on their side, you know, <laughs> like the, like the, you know, psychiatrists prayed these people to believe them. And, uh, like just a wave of denial kind of kicked in at that moment, like, you know, and then I went home like a typical bipolar person and studied every YouTube video I've ever seen in my life and like every step related. I'm like, oh shit, you know, oh God, every failed business idea and I don't know who I am and I lost my identity and everything, I, all my achievements were fake and this makes sense. And then I went into like the worst depression I've ever had in my life, which I'll talk a little bit later is bipolar depression. and. Um, I thought I missed work for, I thought I was late to work um, for like, I thought I was late a couple hours to work in, in my head, in all reality, you know, my wife told me I was sleeping in bed for three days, wiped out, super depressed, like it, gloomy, didn't want it to get better, didn't want to go to the psych hospital, like it was bad, like it was, like I crashed. Um, you know, and I started taking it really serious. You know, and other people around me would say you're bipolar, you know, and you know, in another video I mentioned like 
uh, you know, you can't live with, uh, you know, one, you know, one day you deserve, uh, you know, you're on top of the world, you know, next day you feel like you don't deserve to live on it, you know. I was diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder, which means I go into hypomania phases one day and I go into bipolar depression, you know, some other times. And it seems like for me, my cycle seems to be every year I go into certain phases, you know, and just like the rest of you guys probably watching this video, it's like I hate taking meds, I hate taking meds, you know, but, you know, it's kind of been a game changer because uh, I'm able to see, you know, my goal with my therapist, you know, she's always trying to say, don't say her name is Leanne, but you know, she always says, you know, don't go this far this way, don't go far this way, you know, because I really had a, you know, I just didn't know who I was, you know, at that point, you know, so people watching this video, you know, I didn't want to speak on it, I didn't think I was real, uh, you know, I can totally relate to who, you know, who you are, you know, and uh, it's devastating, like it's really devastating that, you know, going through hypomania phases where you could like, I don't know, like I could ruin my marriage with risky behavior, I could, you know, wipe out your bank account making stupid decisions, you know, I run a business so it's like, am I doing the right thing constantly, you know, you could yell at your kids. You know, I have other mental health diagnosis, so it's like everything accelerates the stuff, you know, and I always talk to, uh, in my own therapy says like my kryptonite, like my, my thinking is like out of this world, you know, but sometimes it could be delusional, you know, and I don't know, but I also like complete all the goals that I say I do, so it's like, you know, weird, you know, but living with bipolar, you know, and the people kind of like, you know, we live in a time where mental health is kind of cool, but if you tell people you have bipolar, they kind of back up a little bit, you know, so I totally understand that. So, you know, that's kind of my story with bipolar disorder, you know, and kind of becoming more comfortable in my skin, you know, even though I work with people, you know, getting that own diagnosis is kind of rough. Uh, but I'm going to show here on the whiteboard, you know, you know, just a little bit of my education. I can help me explain the difference between bipolar one and two disorder. All right, so here is the difference, a little chart I like to explain, the uh, difference between bipolar one and two disorder. You know, again, if you're a kid, you know, it's throwing, screaming fights, you know, it's easy to say, oh, they're bipolar. Or, you know, I always like when people say, my kids are arguing, they're gonna be a lawyer. It's like, no, they're just a little, you know, a-hole or something. But, you know, they're always, uh, you know, first thing we see when we look at somebody, this is what we call this black line would be baseline behavior. And we're going to look at what we, they call mania. So mania is elevated mood that typically lasts more than three to four days. Bipolar one, when I'm typically doing assessment, uh, this lasts three to four days. Can't be medically induced. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, I'm not a doctor, but uh, you know, you see if the thyroid's off, you might see induce uh, serotonin levels. I've seen it off, uh, blood pressure. I don't know what I'm saying, right? Blood stuff, I don't know. Uh, go another YouTube channel, everyone, I was joking. But uh, uh, psychosis, like you see, like people, like terrible social workers do this all the time. I'll see people come to me and they're like, yeah, they diagnosed me with schizophrenia. I'm like, how? I don't know, came off Coke <laughs> at a Motel 6. My drug addicts will love this. You know, birds chirping, smell like, can't say that word, smell like uh, <laughs> death. And um, you know, uh, you know, they died me schizophrenic because I was seeing stuff. So, you know, but what happens is, you know, you go in mania. Typically bipolar one, you see more of the paranoid stuff. They love the government stuff. That's my favorite. Like typically when you catch somebody in the phase, it's kind of cool. You know, schizophrenia people typically hide a little bit better, you know. Uh, that's another video, but you see them and then you're talking to them. They're normally come off really well and then they're like, yeah, and then uh, Joe Biden came in my room and, you know, made me breakfast. You're like, oh, God damn it. They're almost, <laughs> they got me. They're really good, you know. Uh, typically bipolar, in my experience, will be a little bit off, you know, way off. You know, government this, government's trying to get me, you know. I see that a lot. They're just in overload phases, you know. Not always, but it seems like they gotta be hospitalized sometimes to stabilize medication, see what's going on, see if they stop taking their medication, which is insane. You know, we always see people like, why didn't they take their meds? You're like, oh, the guy with bipolar disorder, they can barely manage their own 
bills and stuff. You want them to take their meds, you know, and they got three days supplies and can't even, you know, it takes, what, six months to get a psychiatrist? But they have mania phase that lasts three to four days. They don't necessarily have depression, but I like to see depression, a couple of phases. Um, uh, you know, you see men and women, sometimes they stay more in the depression phase. And then here, here's something I like to see. It's kind of interesting too, because I'll see a patient that comes in and they'll have, uh, they've been treated with uh, depression medication. They're like, this doesn't work. I'm still suicidal. Like, screw medication. This doctor's an idiot. And I'll just keep saying, I'm like, wow, you know, fourth medication. I'm like, you might have bipolar disorder. They're like, what? You know, why do you say that? I'm like, well, you're, you're still depressed and these depression medications aren't working for you and you probably have bipolar depression and that's why it's not working, you know? And they're like, what, I never heard of that before, you know? And one of the things I've noticed is that when you're getting treated wrong, it, bipolar depression is a whole nother animal than depression. What I typically see uh, by bipolar depression is like they're still functioning, they're just gloomy, like dark clouds. It doesn't make sense. So in bipolar one disorder, you know, that seems to be the difference, you know? Bipolar two, uh, my bipolar two crew, Typically the mania is what we would call hypomania. Doesn't mean it's like worse or bad. You know, these are the people that are like uh, employee of the month. And then like when they're average the next week, people are like, dude, what the heck, what's wrong with them? You know, they're picking up a bunch of business ideas. You know, I have clients like, all right, Jake, I'm gonna start a food truck. Then I'm gonna go to modeling school. <sighs> then I'm gonna have three kids. In the next, you know, 12 months. It's like, how you gonna have three kids in 12 months? You know, women, not guys. Guys do it all the time. But, you know, hypomania phases. And then they still have the same depression stuff. So that's just a little bit on the difference between bipolar one and two disorder. Uh, you know, another cool, you know, sometimes people get arrested. Some, I don't know, sometimes I disagree. But, you know, sometimes if you have bipolar two disorder and it, they say if you get arrested while you have it, it makes you have type one. I don't know. Sometimes I disagree. I like to call out the professionals, so if you disagree, leave a comment. I like a little controversy, so if you have any questions or uh, disagree, leave a comment. Again, my name is Jacob Spellis, CEO of Vital Health.